Spartan. Now, I know that we have a lot of first-timers here tonight. So, who, who was here for their first game? Woo! I'm a cheer for that. You can't see all your hands. Oh. <laughs> all right, very far away. We're going to take you through this wild ride of roller derby. And, of course, one of the first things that we want to point out are the two skaters lined up on what is called the jammer line in red and black with those cheetah uh, shorts on is number six. It is Captain Tina Fino and her opponent wearing the star from the double crossword is Tricky Dixon.
And that's going to end the jam there. Big jam for the Hells Bells, putting up 12 points. The Devil Crossers do score four, which is 14 points for the Hells Bells. Second league champion of the game. We're looking at Capital Nutrition, stopped by Capital Nutrition in New Orleans Park, Mokina, Naperville, or Shearville to pick up your nutritional supplements, vitamins, proteins, aminos, herbal extracts, and more. Come in and say hi to the knowledgeable staff at Capital Nutrition.
Rachel Rage. We get to the number 350, Rachel Rage, there to the cycling see a lot from Rachel Rage. Started her career in Wichita. Part of that is they freeze the jammer in the penalty box for the Hells Bells. 
start the next jam with the power start for Chris Cross. We'd like to thank Keller Williams, looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. Kid and Julie from Ke Keller Williams have your back. On and off the track, for more information, stop and talk to Brickhouse Broker or Pitbull Princess. Thank you. 
9 minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first half of play of our first game of two. Let's see here, we're getting our first look at number 34, Renegade Stevens for the Double Crossers. Absolutely, in their first game on the track, number 19, on spike, returning as Jam, the only time that she's Jam thus far was uh, Jam number 8.
We'd like to thank Aflac for additional coverage that you can use to help with the out-of-pocket expenses that may not be covered by your major, major medical insurance. Aflac is a layer of financial protection. With health care costs on the rise, more people than ever are seeking an extra financial safety net for unexpected medical expenses from injury or illness. Aflac. And can I just say, as uh, somebody that played roller derby here for years and years, yeah, and years yeah. that Affleck insurance is no joke. Yeah. It's, it's super, super helpful when you're like, wow, I'm a bartender or a beer vendor at Ridley Field. This is my personal case. I have a broken wrist. I can't work. <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful thing. So you would be amazed at how helpful it can be. So definitely look at it if that's something you're thinking about, whether you play roller derby or you just, you know, whatever you do. Exactly. I do. I get sick all the time. Let's talk about that more. No, let's not. But it's a great supplement. It's not health insurance. It's accident insurance. And there's various layers you can look at as well. So definitely check out for more information. We talked a little bit about if you want to become a skater with the Windy City Rollers, you email tryout at windycityrollers.com. But we have other people out there. We have officials both on skate and off skate. If you want to get involved with the league and be a volunteer with the league, uh, you can email officiating at windycityrollers.com or rules, rules at windycityrollers.com. It is quite the network around the, the world of officials. Absolutely. They have their own little thing. It's quite the club. They travel all around the country and the world. Team other. Yes. You know, there's the two teams that you cheer for on the track, and then there's all the rest of us that make roller derby happen. All the announcers, officials, track crew, the fabulous medics that have been part of Winnie City Rollers since day one. I'm personally wearing their fan club t-shirt today because I love Papa and Mama so much. Papa and Mama have been with us since the very start of Winnie City Rollers back in 2004. There was an official review, I didn't catch it. There oh, yeah. was, yes. Yeah, it's it's brand new for no reason. Yes. There was work to be done. We'll get you an update on that in just a moment. But in the meanwhile, we're going to get back to the action on the track of number 404, Slater Kinney. Jamie wants to get the double crossers and then it's number 9, Knudsen. There seems to be an additional energy that has picked up here in this chair. A little break in the action, get some little more energy on the track. We got a whistle out there. Yeah, that is the Lee Change Maintain by the Double Crossers. 
number five. Still five. Still five. Still five. Two minutes remaining in the first half of play. We'll have Anna Spite for the Hell's Bells. And I believe for the first time, Sailor Doom wearing the Jammer Star for the Bell Crossers. Some fresh legs out there for the team.
not tabula rasa out of bounds, which allows a uh, spike. No, I didn't even fall. Well, it's going to be a track cut to set. So it does get tricky with the track cutting. Um, I said when you look at a penalty, you have to basically if I knock you out front. On the camera, you can the clock.
Williams in the house now. Looking at Sawyer King, number 404 for the team in the back. We have a 12 point game. The whole process is starting to complete a little bit away. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whistle. Let's hope our was able to eke out those last three points to edge the Hells Bells just a little bit further ahead of the Double Crossers. We're standing at 128 and the Bells are at 130. And it's 48 seconds to go. Let's hope our Cubs are able to eke out those
seen this matchup before. We're seeing it again. Peter Bruce for the Double Crossers. Tina Fatal for the Hell Bells. The pack occupies the pivot line. I'm mixing things up here in a little bit. Multiplayer block, we lose someone. 